I'm Zane Levet and I live at South West Rocks on the mid north coast. So I've been fishing since I've been a young fella and um, obviously my dad's pushed me and it's just made me enjoy it a whole lot more and makes me froth out. As a young fella we used to go up to South West Rocks on the mid north coast and go up there for the six week Christmas holiday. Dad would go marlin fishing every day, come back, tell me all the stories, show me big pictures of Covia. I'll see him in the esky and it just really inspired me. I just absolutely frothed all over it and I was just so keen to get out and try it myself. G'day guys, I'm Vic Levitt, um, I'm based at Southwest Rocks, newly uh, relocated to Southwest Rocks from Sydney, so we started the charter boat operation up there and yeah, loving it. Well, my son goes by Ocean Apprentice, but I think he's actually taking over at the moment. He's, uh, he's teaching me a lot at the moment. I've taught him for the last 10 years and now he's completely running the show and decking and I just sit there and watch in awe, actually. It's a good red, eh? <laughs> you're right. I'm always right. I hate when you're right. North coast of New South Wales is, to me, God's country. You can fish islands, you can fish rocky shoals, you can fish hard reef, you can fish deep pinnacles, you can fish absolutely everything off here and you get the most amazing headlands. It's almost like Western Australia, New Zealand and even North Queensland all mixed in the same location. Travelling with the old boys is sometimes a bit of a bit of a tough one. He's always keen for a sleep and a late rise, and, <laughs> and and I'm always wanting to fish every single minute. I'm not feeling it today, actually. Uh, yeah. Those days I normally feel it. Uh, and I ring my wife. I go, I'm kicking his ass finally. And then ten minutes later, I ring her back. Her. Yeah, don't worry about it. Well, it's weird. We go through stages. What do we do? Like one week. You want? Oh. Yeah, oh, it's actually Double. a fish. <laughs> Me too. I got bitten off. I, mine's a king. I mean, how can you not have a drive when you've got a son that's so enthusiastic about fishing? In all honesty, I probably would have kept up with him 40 years ago, but he's he's leading the way in energy, that's for sure, and the ADD's being treated nicely. But maybe you'll come down a few levels, I don't know, but I'll keep up with him as long as I can. And yeah, I'm 60 now, and I'm hanging in there. Which one? The first one, second oh, one? The whole morning. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, go, go back up to here. Yeah, right. Yeah. What I look for in a rod and reel is something that I can absolutely flog day in, day out, but still have that quality that I'm happy to use every day. So it needs to be light, I need to be able to have smooth drags consistently and the reliability of it, realistically. and pen for probably the past two and a bit years and it's been pretty insane the amount of good fish that have come through it and just absolutely as strong as it gets it's gonna have to stand up to the task and not only just reliability but just the consistency of it that for me with the days that I fish is really important because I can't have gear seizing up on me because it'll just ruin my trip you keep going straight dad I'll be able to manhandle this thing The new pet authority has really stepped it up. It's way more refined. It's amazing to fish with the whole day. It's been as smooth as some of the most expensive reels out there, but also as durable and as solid as like the slammers. The waterproofing is insane. I can hose the whole boat down with salt water, get back, hose it down with fresh water, and it's like nothing's ever happened to it. I think snapper fishing is like 50% finesse and 50% sort of real low down grunt. Like you've got the finesse of casting, searching for fish, having that field. You really need to have a, a close eye on the reel. And yet once you do hook on, you still need the power and the robust and the, and the reliability of a good reel. So it's no point using just a little dinky reel for the casting. You need a smooth reel and something with down low power and the authority has ticked all those boxes. Nicely done. Yeah, more often than not, you're gonna find your bigger and badder fish in the more gnarly conditions, which is frustrating because your gear gets flogged, you get flogged, your old boy gets flogged. So I need a reel that I can trust and rely on, and I can do that with a new pen authority. 